what exactly can you do for fun on a dopamine detox? So for those who have been on self-improvement, or if you're just starting your self-improvement journey, you're trying to detox your brain from dopamine. You're trying to turn this into a lifestyle, but there are some challenges that you're facing. What challenges am I talking about? Well, because porn is bad for you, social media is bad for you, and video games are generally bad for you. This is all bad for you. And you're wondering, well, what the hell am I supposed to do then? What am I supposed to do for fun? I see people that ask, you know, what they're supposed to do for fun on self-improvement. And it's like they have this image that self-improvement is some sort of life of suffering and boredom. They think being on self-improvement and living that kind of lifestyle, they think it means having zero fun in their life. I can explain from experience that this is the complete opposite of what self-improvement is actually like. It definitely is not a life of suffering and boredom. When you detox your brain, your life actually becomes more fun. It becomes more fun instead of less fun. That is one of the main points of doing a dopamine detox and being on self-improvement. You detox your brain so you become more capable of having fun and enjoying your life. So, what? What do we do for fun on this kind of lifestyle? Well, simply put, we do life for fun. When your dopamine system isn't constantly numb all the time, you're able to actually enjoy real life things. Enjoy your own life. Instead of always having to escape into digital alternatives for entertainment, like going and playing video games instead of going and hanging out with friends, or doom scrolling on social media, for three hours a day. Here's an example I wanna share with you guys. Imagine someone who's a drug addict, for example, and they think that life is boring if they're sober. The reason that they think that life is boring when they're sober is because they're addicted to the drugs. The drugs have messed up their brain so much that they can't even enjoy life when they're sober and when they're not taking all these drugs and high all the time. They are dependent on the drugs for entertainment. They think there is no entertainment in their life when they're sober. But if they quit doing the drugs consistently, and they did them a lot less or just fully quit, they would be able to start enjoying their life sober again. They will realize that a life where you're sober and you're enjoying life itself is more fun than being miserable all the time and having to be dependent on these drugs for entertainment or for some sort of fun or good instant feeling that they get from the drugs. This works pretty similar or in fact the same way with dopamine. The reason why that you think you need porn, video games and social media and you know Netflix to have fun in life and why you think life without them would be boring is because you are addicted to these things because these things have messed up your brain a lot and you can't enjoy life without them. When you quit these things, or when you quit doing these things as often as you usually do, not even fully quit them, but if you played video games a lot less than you frequently do, and you're not so dependent on that instant gratification, that instant dopamine, you'll start to enjoy your life a little more. It's what happened with me. I was so dependent on video games for some sort of entertainment in my life. I didn't know how to go and just take a walk outside. I was dependent on doom scrolling on social media for hours a day instead of going to the gym or reading a book. When you do these things less often and eventually, you know, hopefully quit these things, you'll wake up in the morning a little more energetic with more enthusiasm to work on the goals you have in your life. Maybe you'll start going to the gym. You'll start eating healthy foods. And instead of thinking negatively about going to the gym and eating healthy food and thinking, oh, well, I have to eat healthy or I have to go to the gym. Oh, God damn it. You'll go to the gym with a positive, energetic feeling. You'll feel good about eating healthy food and changing your body. The amount of enjoyment that you'll get from real life activities, if you genuinely work on detoxing your brain from instant dopamine, it will be one of the greatest like feelings and you know things that you can do for yourself. 
because that will carry over to the long term in your life. Your life does not become less fun when you're on self-improvement and not indulging in instant gratification and instant pleasure. It actually becomes more fun when you don't do those things. Now, I'm not saying that you can never go and watch a movie or you can never play video games again. If you want to do those things in your life, do them. But what I will say is you need to be aware of these things. What I mean is you're not supposed to be dependent on these things for fun. You're not supposed to be dependent on video games, movies, and you know, the hub for entertainment in your life. Your brain and you in general are supposed to have fun in life itself. Don't make up excuses to indulge in the digital alternatives more. Start doing them less. Like I said, you don't have to fully quit everything right away, but start doing them less and less and less. Let it build up to a point to where you do maybe fully quit or you do them once in a blue moon and start enjoying your life more. That's all I got for you guys today. If you made it through the whole video, I really appreciate you. Real life activities and life in general is a lot of fun, especially when you're on the journey of becoming the best version of yourself. We just gotta remove all those bad habits. If you guys enjoyed, hit the like at the bottom of the video and hit the subscribe button. Join the awesome community that we got going on and message me at the link in the description below and keep grinding.